You flip. Wow. Welcome back to the Rivers Ultimate Decades Challenge. It is episode 21, and the year is 1350. So we came from 1330 to 1350. We're making it here, brothers. I want to apologize for the less frequent uploads in the challenge. Um, so it's funny, I'm a teacher in real life, but ironically, summer has been the busiest time. I mean, I got a summer job and it is actually costing me more energy than my regular teaching job. So it's I'm finding that I really only have the desire to record and edit on my days off, which is about three or four days a week, depending on the week. So yeah, if, if they slow down in the summer, I apologize, but they will probably pick back up in the fall when I don't work as much. When I say as much, I mean my, my hours are just really long in the summer. I don't work as many days, but my hours are longer and I just get home exhausted. So any teachers in the comments? Let me know if you're also a teacher. Squad up. When we last left our heroes, um, Flora and Wyatt had just gotten married and I was debating whether or not I actually wanted to have them have a baby because I was worried that the house would get too full once Wyatt Jr. came back from war and started his family. I've since decided I do want to have at least one kid now with these two. And then when Wyatt comes back, if he survives, which he probably will, but if he survives, then we can hold off on having kids um, so he, so Wyatt Jr. can have kids. But for now, I think they're going to make a baby. So actually, let's do this as soon as you're done cooking. Ooh, good job, Wyatt. You're so good at gardening. Yes, let us make this child together, shall we? And it better work the first time, because we don't have that much time to spare. I think we should save up for a barn. Like, I want to get cow. I'm going to get a cow. Cow house. Aha, Sister Cecilia Monroe wants me to join the social media career. Um... I think not. Now we wait to see if she's with child. I hope she is, because I really want a little redheaded baby. Oh, she's a, is she a cat lover? Should we get a cat too? I mean, I am be, I do be feeling kind of bored with this family right now. Not, not really. I'm actually not bored with this safe owl at all. But like, there's only three people in the house and it's not enough chaos for me. Should I get a cat? No, wait, I was just complaining about having, not having enough um, family spots. No, we, we shouldn't do that. We should not. Should we? No. But if Sam dies, we're gonna get a cat. You know what we need? A Bible. So Flora can get into religion. As you can see, I'm just trying to come up with things to occupy my time. Sometimes when they don't go to work, it's like, what do I do with myself? <laughs> Maybe I'll just send them foraging and hunting more often. I mean, that's at least something productive that wastes my time. We're trying our best to befriend our son, even though he's, he's not our son. We're going to make the most of it. Family is what you make it. That's what we decided in the last episode. Aww. It's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Let me take a picture. Oh, they're good friends now! Oh, thank you! Dog's like, what are you guys doing down there? Oh, she got ticks from foraging yesterday. Ew! I don't think she's pregnant. It's been about a day, so I'm gonna have them try again. Round two, fight! Ooh, he has the need to swipe because he's a klepto. Maybe we could go steal something from like the Brant- like the Sosas or something? Brantley's family? I almost called them the Brantleys. What the heck is that? Alright, I'm gonna have him go try to steal something because I think that would be funny. Oh my god, what if he stole something from Caleb and Lilith? <laughs> let's, do, let's do that. It's, I mean, they're, they're gonna let him into their house, obviously, because it's his, it's Caleb's son, but like, they don't know that I'm there to swipe, you know what I'm saying? Here we are, the Vittori residence. Well, of course, we'll have to knock on the door and complete our formalities, but then we are afraid to scavenge. Ah, oh, let's see what we've got here. That would look good in our home. Some buckets. It was, that's a nice sign. There doesn't seem to be any, like, thing I can take. I can't even ask them to make me food or anything. Like, can I just? Ask about prized possessions. Let's go to a public place. See if we can steal. 
Oh, I'll just take the Vittori's with me. Who cares? Let's go steal from Brantley's pub. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to the church. <laughs> I can swipe this jar of olives. Okay, that's an option. Is there any art I can take? Ooh, that would be that would be risky. Let's try it. There was a cool art piece down here. Nope, it's too big. Okay, I guess we're settling for this jar of olives. Hope I don't get caught. Oh, it's night's night again. Successful, okay. You got exhilarating steel. Nothing is more thrilling than swiping objects from others. Dude, totally agree. He's gonna keep his prized jar of olives right next to his bed. He's not even gonna tell his family that he stole them because they probably wouldn't come up to this loft anyway, so they'll never know. I mean, she's probably pregnant now because she's uh, holding her belly and doing the little barfing action a lot. Is she really not pregnant? Oh my goodness, she was showing all the signs. Should I wait a little longer to make sure? I guess we'll try again. Wait. Wait. What? It's not giving me notifications. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, but she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Woohoo! And she's still crying over Glitta. Like, why? Um, I just remembered that they're not actually married in the game. Uh, I forgot. So let's just speed run that real quick. Not that it really matters particularly, but. <laughs> All right, all done. All right, it is the last day of fall, so it's harvest day, baby. Which means I need all hands on deck to take care of these plants before we harvest them. Including you, buddy. Adopt as care dependent? Wait, can Wyatt do that? Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know you could do that. Alright, she's gonna start harvesting. Ooh, we got a lot of crops this season. We just made a lot of money from that harvest, so... I'm buying a barn and a cow. Might have to move Gleda's grave, but there wouldn't be dirt in front of it at this point. It's been years, I don't know why I kept that. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. Kinda like the gray. Gray or brown. I'm very much a gray lover, so I'm gonna go with gray. Mm, let's get a spotted cow. What a classic. Maybe I could add another barn, too. And I know there's, like, ways you can, um, do, like, custom barns where you can have a lot of animals in a smaller amount of space. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know. We have still have plenty of money, so maybe I'll, uh, I don't know. Maybe, I'll, maybe I can get my chickens again. What should I name the cow? Aww, oh, look at it, is it cute? I love her. Oh. I, love my, I love my cow. I mean, I have enough. Why, might as well get chickens. What the hey? <laughs> hey. Um, let's get a black rooster and a white hen. Our lives just got a lot harder. <laughs> I just forgot winter is literally starting tomorrow. Why did I do this? Oh well. Oh well. It'll be worth it, I think, maybe. My dog's getting a call? What? What does it mean? What does it mean? And that looks to be about the end of the episode. It is the end of the fourth day of this year. That means it's the end of the year. So tomorrow will be winter. So the next episode, we might see some snow. We got some holidays coming up. Lots of winter holidays coming up. And then Wyatt should, Wyatt Jr. should be returning from war, hopefully, unless he dies. Um, in 1352, so then he will be starting his own family, so we got a lot to look forward to here. Things are starting to become a lot more peaceful than they were in the last decade of the challenge. So until next time, I will see you. Peace!